do you like it? This is basically what I came up with for the short out challenge. Uh, challenge was also which jerseys to pick, I have to say. But when I saw this in classic football shorts, I knew I wanted to do something like that. I always wanted to have something where my shorts are out and visible, and this was probably the coolest way. Um, to end this video, I'm gonna pan over and give you a little bit about my thoughts, and you know how I, uh, you saw how I pulled it up there. But yeah, I also want to make this kind of my new background for my collection videos because uh, I think it's just awesome to have all these shirts behind. Um, would like to know what you think about it. I just realized that the Ajax shirt that I like so much here is kind of a little bit hidden. But on the other side, if I sit like this, then at least the lion is eating me. So I like that part of it. <laughs> Also, maybe two frost jerseys on there, so you know it's not all perfectly uh, panned out. That's awesome. So I see two Barcelona jerseys. In there. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, as I said, I will and two Milan jerseys. Yep. Uh, so that's the way it goes with those things. I, I will show you. I try to pick some of my favorite shirts, and then I try to add in. A few things I went more for old or special and then you know sometimes balancing out color so we'll go through all that now so let's have a look at all this goodness uh, I'm just panning around this is basically the room where I shoot the videos here is the jersey that you usually usually see you know all the scarves I had put some scarves back there in the storage area as well and I put two more jerseys here, so we'll talk about this. Let me just slowly pan back and we'll start from the top. Uh, the four jerseys, uh, the three jerseys I put up there are basically the first three jerseys that I ever got with the Italy jersey. The first one, Milan, and then Brazil. Not exactly that Brazil, but it should have, it is more or less that Brazil jersey. Uh, I just had a rep replica, so those were the first three, so that's why they're up. But then this last jersey is the next one, that's why I put it then up so high. I knew there should be at least one last jersey. I see that this Espanol scarf, which honestly I like the Espanol scarf a lot, I'm not, I'm not real for Espanol, but I know it's a little bit getting into the picture. I have to do something maybe about that, uh, pin it back um, a little bit more. So, this was where my first thoughts then. Get some really special shirts and I think France and Nigeria those are jerseys that I'm really proud of the same thing goes for this Af these African jerseys here as well I mean the uh, West Cameroon jersey then the Senegal and of course the Mali jersey and then I also tried to pick uh, jerseys that won stuff so we have here the World Cup winning Spain jersey we have the World Cup winning France jersey of course uh, this Barcelona jersey won the Champions League, this Milan jersey won the Champions League. Uh, we have back there, we have Real Madrid, um, which I think is a very special jersey. Then we have Benfica, which is probably my oldest jersey, and then second or third oldest jersey, uh, maybe fourth, uh, this Juve jersey. Uh, again, those two up here, I think they're both younger a little bit than the Benfica jersey but probably a tad older than the Juventus jersey so this was kind of the first uh, thing and then I had to fill it out so I decided yeah I need to put the another Champions League winning jersey of course here for the Milan jersey because this is special um, I know this Ajax jersey did not win the Champions League but this was one of my I think uh, after the Lusk jersey, this was one of the next jerseys I got. I did not put my first France jersey up there. Um, not quite there. Then old jersey, also this um, Netherlands jersey. I chose the Chelsea jersey because this was my first Premier League jersey. Um, and it has Gianfranco Zola on there. So I think it's kind of special. I could have put the Tottenham or Arsenal there. But I think Chelsea, just because when I got it, Chelsea was my favorite team. Then if you look at it, there is no Argentina, so I had to put, I let my girls decide which Argentina jersey. Then if I put that Argentina jersey, there's the World Cup winning Germany jersey. Then the 100 year Real Madrid jersey and the Euro winning Portugal jersey need to be in there as well, although they're not really that much in the picture. This was the last thing, and then I want to put some special jerseys here up on the wall. 
This Roma jersey was my first Roma jersey, it has Francesco Totti on the back and I'm really thinking of changing all these backgrounds now to fit uh, my video backgrounds a little bit, you know, the, uh, for the um, end screen vid videos. I knew I had to put the Sampdoria shirt up there too, because this is just uh, gorgeous. This Barcelona jersey, like the France jersey, I got just recently from my brother. It's just special because it's a 100 year jersey, uh, away jersey. It has the tag, so that's why I wanted to put it up there. This France jersey has Sidan, although a little bit damaged on the back. And I think the USA jersey, the 2013 Centenary jersey, is also something special. And then I wanted to put a red one there. The girl said, put the England. It's red. So that's fine. So this is that part here. Then let's move over. There are two jerseys that I really wanted to hang, but uh, I couldn't really fit in and I might do it when I do a Serie A. Uh, these two jerseys are special to me. They might not be as special for a Milan or Roma jersey, but if you look here, this is the Maldini Tre Solo Per Te. And then I have it on the sleeve, the uh, Francesco Totti Una Squadra Per La Vida, Vita. Uh, which was not necessarily the last uh, jersey that um, Francesco Totti uh, wore. It was actually never worn in this configuration because the sleeve was only on this special jersey, uh, the red one. But I got it because you couldn't get the red one with that one from the Roma store. But I got this one and it's very, very special. It also has what the Milan jersey does not have. It has the Serie A patch here. So that's actually pretty nice. And those are two wonderful, wonderful jerseys that I tend to not wear anymore. This Milan jersey here has been worn a lot, as you can see here on the tag. And also the sponsor is kind of... I will iron this over a little because it's really, really wrinkled. And the climber cool here is more or less gone. So I've worn this one a lot. But these are two very special jerseys that I will put up there. As I said, I'm planning to change my backgrounds a little bit uh, now. I want to do like every day, switch out a few, jer a few jerseys. I, I think I can make a whole wall with Milan jerseys. I can make a whole wall with Lask jerseys. Um, then for the different leagues like Serie A and so on, I'm planning Serie A, Premier League, you know, do something like that. Then also for the Euros, World Cup, AFCON, you know, you get the idea. I definitely want to do one with all the jerseys that have names on the back so something like this that you get a whole wall with just names and numbers i think that could be impressive too tell me in the comments below whether you want to do a shorts out challenge and if you have uh, i would like to see what you did uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and yeah i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!